but this is the early part of the process. Uh, as the mayor said in his remarks, uh, there has not been a single rezoning that we've been through. We've now been through 78 of them, all of them successful, where input from the community has not made the plan better. And we expect that, that will be the case. And we, we spent a lot of time, we formed the Coney Island Development Corporation four years ago to give us input, a lot of hard questions. I'm sure at this point we haven't gotten it completely right, but there's a long way to go here and we expect it to continue to get more refined and better and the landowners will play the role in that happens. Yes, sir. The, the renderings have showed a fair number of high rises on the southeast, uh, west side. I'm turning around. One side, East Bank Park. Uh, what height do you, do you expect there to be high rises along the water there, along the boardwalk? What height? And talk about that a little bit. Let me just say, we want to make this a much more residential residential community, but for, with residential development in the right place, right? Not next to the abusements, because it's a big conflict between uh, noise and light. <coughs> and there'll be residential development both on the north side of Sierra Avenue and on the west side of Sierra Avenue. Uh, in terms of detail, in terms of revasting and building form and height, they will uh, reflect and respond to the height of the landmarks, particularly the parachute jump. The details haven't been worked out as well. Do you expect 30 and 40 story? It will be a total of almost 45,000 units of housing and the details to be worked out, but respectful of the parachute jump. Sir. Yeah, without some... It's a very brave and visionary plan that really um, does well for the Coney Island community, not only the residents of the community, but the citizens of New York City who have an interest and the desire to see Coney Island's legendary status as the world's playground continue. Um, I am pleased, if not overwhelmed, that the mayor himself, together with the other elected officials, have become the primary advocates of the amusement park. This is a much better plan than I thought, even as a CIDC member and an insider, than that we would have gotten even six months ago. Um, it's a, been released at a time when the industry itself conflicted between their lives as members of the amusement industry have come into conflict with their status as property owners and a lot of the amusement industry within Coney Island itself over the past year or two has sold their property and complicated the plans. I think the swap is a brilliant idea. I think developing the area that's technically now zoned parkland but it's just a parking lot um, is an excellent idea and creates an opportunity for the poor amusement area to revitalize.